morning. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, this is our continuation with the i7 Pro. We do have the previous video, the i7 Pro. Okay, smartwatch, and this time we do have the i7 Pro Max. Okay, this is a pretty popular smartwatch due to its affordable size. At the same time, it has a lot of features. So we're going to check the health sensor of this one, specifically for the heart rate and the blood pressure with our medical grade Omron health monitoring. So we'll see if we do have a good result or an accurate result. So this is a medical grade. So the results for this one is pretty much accurate compared to other brands so we'll see if we do have a good or a closer result of our of our i7 pro max to our omron medical grade health monitor so we already have it here okay the airbag so let's check okay and monitor our health okay and let's compare it with the i7 pro max okay Again, if you have any questions regarding this demo, please drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have the time. So let's check. Okay, so it's now monitoring. So let's see. Okay, so done. Checking. Let's wait for the results. Okay. So we're getting closer. So we have, let's see. Okay, we have 110 over 80. It is 70 bits per minute. Okay. That's it. We do have the result. So, closer to our i7 Pro earlier that we checked. Okay. So, let's see. Let's wear the smartwatch. And let's compare the result. Do we have a fake sensor? Or a real sensor that shows accurate result? Or closer to the results. The medical grade sensor okay so we have the smartwatch let's check so let's see where's the heart rate here okay so we have the heart rate let's see again our heart rate is 70 okay bits per minute so let's see here we have 79 again so it is already monitoring the heart rate as well as the blood pressure. Okay, let's focus here on the... So we have 78 and 70. While for the heart rate or the blood pressure, again, we have... Okay... 105, 78, and 85. 105, 78, closer to blood pressure, but the heart rate is very far. Okay, let's do it again. Seventy-nine, one thirteen over 81. 79, 70 here. 118 over 89 so it's far okay let's start maybe there's some changes okay let's see if it's still far from the actual results here seems like we don't have a good sensor or possibly it's all just a fake sensor in the i7 pro max okay We'll check other Series 7 smartwatches and other branded smartwatches and we'll compare it with the Omron health sensor here. 
so to see whether it is it is showing accurate result or not so we now we have 111 over 80 and 74 again let's check it right away One eleven eighty and seventy four. So eighty eighty two, one eleven over eighty. So again, that's a good result. We have a closer result here, much better than the i seven pro. But anyways, I'm not, I don't know if this is just a lucky, random guess. But we do have a very good. Closer result here, 74 heart rate, the same. So let's check it. We feel the smartwatch will monitor our health here. So seems like it's working here. Will it show a result or not? Still, it's showing result even though that we are not using it. Okay. It should be zero. I think it's fake. Is it fake? I don't know. So it's up to you to decide whether it really works or not. Okay. Anyways, it is showing a closer result, even though that it is, we're not using it. So disappointing, but that's the reality. We do have the i7 Pro Max here. I guess we'll just try other Series 7. Maybe there are some good sensors there. Okay. Let's check with the DT Pro or the DT Smartwatches Series 7. Whether they have the accurate sensors or not. Okay. So that's it. Again. Anyways, whether it shows the result or it has an accurate result. The result for the smartwatch here cannot be used as a diagnosis, but just a reference, okay? So if you want to check your heart rate, blood pressure, you see a medical grade device like this one, the Omron. Again, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Bye!